Hello everyone and I'm back with another haul video Since I've been to the studios in London of Harry Potter I also went to London Central itself There you can also find a lot of stores that sell Harry Potter stuff And I'll be showing you guys what I got in those stores I'll see with what store it was and how much it was um, Let's begin Let's begin with the store everyone knows and that's Primark so what I bought in Primark, didn't buy that much, I only bought three things uh, because I'm quite difficult when it comes to clothing and all. Um, even though it says Harry Potter on it, if I don't really like it, I'm not buying it. Doesn't matter how much it is, I just have to like it. <laughs> but what I bought was socks. Start with this one, this is design. It's like light grey socks with the house crests on it. I got four, the four houses, it was £3.5, I just really like having the different houses as socks because I can change things up that way and I just like it instead of only wearing Hufflepuff socks since I'm a Hufflepuff, I don't really like that, I like to change, Like I think it's fun to like wear Ravenclaw socks and be like today I'm going to do smart stuff or to wear Gryffindor socks and be like Today I'm going to be brave and I'm going to do what I don't dare to do because I'm wearing my Gryffindor socks. That's just the kind of person that I am. The other socks that I got are these. These were three pounds, of course, again, the three houses. I just like some change of socks. <laughs> then the last thing that I bought were slippers. I really needed slippers because my slippers were ready to throw uh, are ready to throw away actually uh, I haven't thrown them away yet but these are the slippers I'll show you it has Hedwig on it with a letter and then the acceptance letter the envelope where the acceptance letter is in it says Harry Potter and it has some stars it's really comfortable to wear it has like a padding uh, at the foot so you, when you're walking it feels really soft uh, those were five pounds then, next thing that I bought um, was at platform 9 and 3 quarter store. I bought, yes, a chocolate frog. They now sell chocolate frogs at the nine and, platform 9 and 3 quarter store. It's really fun because when you want to, when you want an actual chocolate frog, you don't have to go to the studios anymore. If you can't afford going to the studios, but you can go to England, you can just go to the platform 9 and 3 quarter store in King's Cross and get yourself a chocolate frog. I really love it. In my last one I got Dumbledore, I really wanted Helga Hufflepuff and now I got Lockhart. I'm kind of disappointed because I really wanted Helga. I'm glad with my Dumbledore one but I don't know how what to think about Lockhart because in the movies you can see he's a bit of a jerk. Next thing that I bought, the chocolate frog, by the way, is the same price as in the studio, so it's eight eight point ninety five pounds for the chocolate frog. Next, what I bought is the snitch. I got my own snitch, and yes, he flaps his wings. How cool is that? You can also make him fly. I'm not gonna say how because that will spoil the magic. But if you buy it, you'll know how. Um, when you go to the platform 9 and 3 quarter store, you can see one of the staff members flying the snitch around them. So it's really fun to see um, how they're, what they're doing, that the snitch is actually flying around them. And it's fun when you not not know how they're doing it because it like, looks like actual magic. It looks like actually flying around them. That's really cool. And you also get this Quidditch poster. I really like it, so I'm gonna frame it and put it on my wall next to my map of the Harry Potter world um, that I have. The snitch was £29.99. Um, but it's really I do recommend it if you really want a flying snitch. At the studios they also sell a snitch, um, which wings also flap. I didn't bought that one because I knew I wanted the one of platform 9 and 3 quarters. 
I might buy it next time, but I'm not sure. Then last thing that I bought, of course, again, a plastic bag. A reusable bag more. This one was 2.50 pounds. I do like plastic bags, so <laughs> I have to buy it. I collect them from Disney, as you can see there. Every time I visit a city and the city has a Disney store, I will buy a, a bag from that city. Um, so I'm also going to do that from the Harry Potter uh, world. Instead of buying it from cities, I'm going to buy all the designs they have. Of course, if I like the design, um, then I'm going to buy it every time I go. <laughs> Um, this was actually the first time I saw the one at Peppa Man and Three Quarters. It's possible that I just didn't see it last time. Um, and the one that I got from the Harry Potter Studios, another video uh, I did, put the link in the description. Um, it's the first time actually seeing bags of Harry Potter like that, so I'm really excited. It's another thing that I can start collecting. Um, I know at me collecting stuff uh, but I really like it I really like the bags because you can use them for everything um, it's really nice um, you can use them to go grocery shopping or when you're going to London going to Harry Potter shops you can take the bag with you to put your stuff in it's much more durable than the plastic bags they give you and it's better for the environment so I do recommend it if you want it of course I'm not gonna Force you guys to buy it. Next shop I did was Mina Lima. And for those of you who don't know Mina Lima, Mina Lima is the store of the two people that uh, designed almost all of the objects you see in Harry Potter, like the newspaper, the postcards, the backgrounds, almost all of it. The I don't know if they did the costumes, but like postcards, newspapers, magazines, the books, they designed all of it. They have their own store in London. Um, they sell the books, um, like the screenplay uh, of the movies, well, of Fantastic Beasts and Crimes of Grindelwald. They sell postcards, they sell prints, they sell, um, they sell all kinds of stuff. They also have... Um, some sort of museum, I don't know how to say it properly, but they have like stuff exhibited uh, on their upper floors. Haven't been there because last time they were working on it and this time I was walking a crutch, so <laughs> going up the stairs wasn't really good for me, so I didn't do it. I am going to do it next time when I'm going, um, when I'm not going to London with a crutch. <laughs> So yes, the book that I bought is this one. And it's basically all the stuff they used for um, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, so like the postcard that uh, Tina sent Queenie of Paris. Um, they designed it. So it's about all of the stuff they designed. Uh, it's very interactive. It's very fun. I'll show you a piece of paper. This is an example. It's all the stuff they like made, and this is what I meant with interactive stuff. They have like those things. This is the Ministry of Magic passport of Newt, but all of the things like the postcard and stuff, um, you can find it in the book. Uh, you can look at it. It's an actual piece of paper, an actual thing that you can, that are is stick, stuck in the book, I don't know how to say it, but um, it's really fun, it's really nice to see, they also had a Fantastic Beast one, um, I also bought it in the Mina Lima store, of course you can also buy these books um, anywhere else, in other stores, in bookshops and all, but I prefer to buy them in Mina Lima, reason for that is because they sign their books. Every time you buy something at Mina Lima, it will be signed by Mina Lima. So Mina and Lima. So there are two people, uh, a man and a woman. I don't know their complete names, but you can look it up on the website they have. You can also order online. Um, 
I prefer to get it myself because then you don't have to buy, you don't have to pay shipping. And it's much more fun to go to the store because it's a really nice store. It's really fun to be there. You really have to visit it when you go to London. You just have to type in Google Maps Mina Lima and it will show you where the store is. They do have to say they only open um, around noon, uh, but they're open every day. So it's really fun. This book was £30, but it's really interactive. It's really fun to to look in it, to see all of the stuff, um, to open up the cards and all. Uh, so it's really nice. And it's signed by Mina and Lima. So it's a really fun thing. Next thing that I bought and that was in a store. I didn't know there was. Um, it's the Noble Collection store. I didn't know they had a store themselves. Um, but basically it's... Um, you got like the replicas um, of everything that's made by Noble Collection. Uh, they have their own store, but they don't also only sell uh, Harry Potter stuff. They also have um, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Batman, um, Suicide Squad, Justice League. They also sell stuff like that. Um, but they also sell, sell their replicas and all. Things that I bought was Pickett. The bow truckle and you can like move his arms move his legs it's really fun he was nine pounds the reason why i bought it at the noble collection store and not in the studios or not at platform nine and three quarters was because at the noble collection he's much cheaper the noble collection is nine pounds in the other stores it's 13 pounds and to me it's important if i can get it cheaper but same quality, same brand, I will get it cheaper. Uh, I prefer to get it cheaper because then I have more money to buy other stuff. Then, next thing that I bought was a wand. And yes, this is Hermione's wand. I actually wanted, I was thinking of buying uh, Fred's wand and the next time buying George's wand, but it's a Noble Collections. I didn't see them separately, I only saw them together in um, in a pack, but I didn't really like it. I prefer to have them separately, to have them in their box, than having them on a stand. Um, but then I decided to get Hermione's wand, the box where it comes in it. And then you got Hermione Granger's name, and you've got a little tag. It's a clip, you can take it off, you can choose where you want to put it. I decided to put it on the box because I display the ones in their box. And I think it's very fun because you can see whose one it is. Because when you're like me, you don't really know whose one it looks like what. I do know... Nifedora's wand because it's very special and uh, Nude's wand I can distinguish uh, from all the other ones but then the others I can't <laughs> just don't know how they look um, so it's fun that you can get like a little clip that says the name of the per of the characters whose wand it is it's a very nice box uh, it was £27 it's the cheapest one that I could find um, in London, in the Harry Potter stores, in the studios, it was thirty pounds, and in the platform nine and three quarters, it was thirty-three pounds or thirty-five pounds. Um, of course, in the Noble Collection, you also have ones that are thirty pounds, but that's like in a different box. You've got two kind of boxes. You got like the ones that are like this that has like a sticker with their name on, um, but then you got uh, other boxes. That have the name um, at the side. That have the name here. Um, but those are thirty pounds. I don't really care what kind of box it is. It just has to be a box like this, and not like a plastic one, because I like to display them. And it's nice to be able to see them in their box itself, and you can like close them. That's something that I really like. Um, but that's up to you, of course, if you prefer to buy the one like in a regular plastic box and save money go ahead do that it's what you decide your money you decide how you want to spend it and then the last thing that i bought and i don't know where i put it got it 
Yes, I have bought Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Didn't have this book yet. And, um, I don't know, I never really found a reason to buy it. But this I actually bought at the duty-free store of the Eurostar. Um, when you're waiting to board your train, there's a small shop, a duty-free shop, like you find in airports. And they have a small Harry Potter section. And I went to look and I saw the book and I was like, mm, maybe I need to buy it this time. Because I'm actually really curious about how the story goes. Because I don't know how the story goes. And I read a lot of people, I read a lot of comments of people saying that they didn't like it. That it was actually ruining Harry Potter. So I'm curious about if it is that bad or if it's just people overreacting. Um, the reason why I bought it uh, is because it was only £8 uh, compared to... Uh, the bookstores in Belgium. It was much cheaper to buy it, to buy it at the Eurostar duty free store than to buy it online uh, on a, or in a bookstore uh, in Belgium. So I decided to just buy it there. I like my books in English. I read all of my books in English, so it didn't matter if I just bought it there or not. Um, but I'm curious if I'm going to like it or not. And it's really fun that um, when you're waiting to board your your train. You can go to the duty free store and still buy Harry Potter stuff. Like when you regret, when you're like, oh, I really wanted to buy a wand, you can buy wands there. Uh, I saw Harry Potter's wand and Dumbledore's wand, of course, it's in the plastic boxes. Uh, but you also have notebooks, you've got keychains, you got all kinds of stuff there. Well, it's not that much, but you got different stuff there you can buy. So if you're like, oh, I really. I really want something from Harry Potter. Just go to the store. You can find something there. Maybe there isn't some anything you like. Maybe there are stuff that things that you like. For me, it was just the book and the other stuff that there was. I didn't really like. But I bought the book at the duty free store, and it's really fun to be able to buy it just in a regular store and not really a Harry Potter shop. Um, but that was everything that I bought um, on my weekend in London. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really fun. And I thank my sister for bearing with me and going to all those Harry Potter stores for me. Even though she isn't really a Harry Potter fan. Uh, I'm really, really thankful that she did that for me. Um, but of course, I'm going to go back to London one day. Go to the stores again and then buy all kinds of stuff again and um, maybe I'll make another video about it um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it bye